Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add a comment or note to a workbook cell for other people to read. For example, you could include a cell comment or note to a formula cell that explains its function, or you could add a cell comment or note that gives tips on what data to enter into a cell. Often you use comments or notes when making changes to a shared workbook to tell others what you changed and why you changed it. As of the writing of this lesson, Excel for Office 365 now offers new threaded comments for workbooks. Threaded comments let other users reply to your original comment and they also have a few other differences from traditional comments. In Excel for Office 365, traditional comments are now called notes. All other versions of Excel simply use the traditional comments. You can use the buttons within the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon to manage comments in worksheet cells. While comments are not intrinsically linked to sharing workbooks, they are often used within shared workbooks to comment on cells in the workbook without changing them. Cell comments and notes are little text boxes associated with particular cells. When someone moves their mouse pointer over a cell containing a comment or note, it then appears and shows the cell's comment or note. Cells with traditional comments or notes attached to them show a small red triangle in the cell's upper right corner. If you make changes to a shared workbook and highlight the changes, the changes appear as cell comments but using a different colored triangle. In addition, the new threaded comments in Excel for Office 365 appear as purple colored triangles in the upper right cell corner. You also cannot add both a threaded comment and a note to the same cell in Excel for Office 365. To insert a new comment into a cell, click the cell into which to add the comment. Then click the New Comment button in the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Alternatively, you may also right-click a cell and then choose the New Comment command from the pop-up menu that appears to insert a new comment instead. To insert a new note, if using Excel for Office 365, instead click the Notes drop-down button in the Notes button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Then click the New Note command in the drop-down menu that appears. Alternatively, you can right-click the cell to which to add the new note, and then select the New Note command from the pop-up menu that appears. The comment or note appears as a text box attached to the cell that shows the default username of the current Office user. For either, simply type your comment into the text box. To set a traditional comment or note, then click back into the worksheet cells after typing. To set a new threaded comment instead, click the new Post button in the threaded comment. After that, the comment or note only appears in the worksheet when you hold your mouse pointer over the cell containing the comment or note. To edit cell comments or notes, select the cell comment or note to edit. To edit a threaded comment, if using Excel for Office 365, roll over the comment to edit, and then click the edit link that then appears in the threaded comment. Then edit the comment, and click the save button below it. To edit a selected cell's traditional comment in all other versions of Excel, either click the Edit Comment button in the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon, or right-click the Comment cell and select the Edit Comment command from the pop-up menu that appears. Alternatively, to edit a selected cell's note if using Excel for Office 365, either click the Notes button in the Notes button group on the Review tab of the ribbon, and then select the Edit Note command in the drop-down menu that appears, or right-click the Note cell and select the Edit Note command from the pop-up menu that appears. Doing any of these actions in the respective versions of Excel then makes the traditional comment or note appear in its editing mode where you can change it as needed. After editing its content, then click back into the worksheet cells to set the traditional comment or note. To delete a comment or note from a cell, select the cell with the comment or note to delete. Then click the Delete button in the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon, or simply right-click the cell with the comment or note to delete, and then choose the Delete Comment command from the pop-up menu that appears. 
To easily view cell comments or notes, hover the mouse pointer over the cell with the comment or note to display. The comment or note then pops up so you can read it. However, if you have many comments or notes in a workbook, you may want to start at a certain comment or note and then read through all the comments or notes. To do this in Excel for Office 365, click either the Previous Comment or Next Comment button in the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon to move through the threaded comments. To move through the notes in Excel for Office 365 instead, click the Notes button in the Notes button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Then select either the Previous Note or Next Note command from the drop-down menu that appears. To move to the Previous or Next comments in all other versions of Excel, click either the Previous or Next buttons in the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. In all versions, you will then move from comment to comment or note to note in the workbook until you reach the end of the workbook. After reaching the end of the workbook, a message box appears to ask if you want to start reviewing from the beginning of the workbook. Either click the OK button to continue reviewing from the beginning of the workbook or click the Cancel button to stop reviewing. Then just click into a non-commented worksheet cell to hide the display of the comments or notes again. To change the display of a traditional comment or note so it constantly appears in the worksheet regardless of whether or not you hover your mouse pointer over its cell, click the cell that has the traditional comment or note to constantly display. If using Excel for Office 365, then click the Notes button in the Notes button group on the Review tab of the ribbon and select the Show Hide Note command. For all other versions of Excel, instead click the Show Hide Comment button in the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. To hide the comment or note again later, click the cell with the displayed comment or note. Then click the same Show Hide Note or Show Hide Comment button again. Notice that the new threaded comments in Excel for Office 365 don't let you display them on screen constantly in the worksheet. However, to open a new comments pane at the right side of the worksheet, which shows all the worksheet's threaded comments, click the Show Comments button in the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. You can also manage the threaded comments within the new comments pane too. To close it when finished, click the X button in the pane's upper right corner. Likewise, you can also toggle the display of all workbook traditional comments or notes between constantly showing and only showing when a user hovers over their cells by first clicking anywhere into the worksheet. If using Excel for Office 365, then click the Notes button in the Notes button group on the Review tab of the ribbon and select the Show All Notes command. For all other versions of Excel, instead click the Show All Comments button in the Comments button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. If the traditional comments or notes overlap each other, you can move the hidden traditional comment or note by clicking and dragging it by its border to reposition it on screen. To hide all the traditional comments or notes again after showing them, click the same Show All Notes or Show All Comments button again to hide their constant display in the worksheet. To convert all the workbook's notes into threaded comments, if using Excel for Office 365, which also removes all images and formatting from them, then click the Notes button in the Notes button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Then select the Convert to Comments command from the drop-down menu that appears. Read the information in the Confirmation Warning message box. To then continue, click the Convert All Notes button in the message box or click the Cancel button to cancel if needed. You can also print traditional comments and notes in a worksheet, either on a separate sheet that lists all of the comments, or as they appear on screen. You can only print threaded comments in Excel for Office 365 on a separate sheet. If you choose to print traditional comments or notes as shown on screen, then you must set the traditional comments or notes to print to constantly show first. Then click the Page Setup dialog box button in the lower right corner of the Page Setup button group on the Page Layout tab of the ribbon to open the Page Setup dialog box. In the Page Setup dialog box, click the Sheet tab. Then use the Comments drop-down to select how to print them. None, which won't print them. At End of Sheet, which prints them at the end of the sheet on a separate page. Or, As Displayed on Sheet, Legacy, which prints them as they appear on screen. 
Then click the OK button in the dialog box to set your printing preference. Then print the worksheet to view the comments in the print job using the comment printing method you chose. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.